Hi everyone, welcome. This is Aishan Raltan. Do you love hazelnuts like me? How about crunchy, crispy rolls filled with hazelnuts? It is very easy to make with store-bought filo sheets and it doesn't have any syrup as classic baklava recipes. Instead, we sprinkle sugar along with ground hazelnuts, which makes it lighter. And if you want more, you can sprinkle more powdered sugar after it is baked. And the best part is, it stays fresh and crisp for a long time. So let's begin. Here I have one cup ground roasted hazelnuts. I prepared these hazelnuts first by taking out from their shell while my husband did. And when you go back further, actually we picked up the hazelnuts this year from our hazelnut orchards in Trabzon. So this is what we got for now. They dry out and then you uh, take it out like this. There is also a machine do this. It is still very fresh. I can confidently say that it is not easy to grow hazelnuts. Even uh, taking out from the uh, shell is hard. And after we did that, I roasted them on stove top uh, by shaking from time to time on a uh, low medium heat. You can also roast them in the oven. And I'm gonna use about 100 grams or two thirds of a cup hazelnuts and process them until almost fine. If you want, you can collect the skin part, but usually I like to keep them. And the second ingredient is tahini. It's a sesame paste. If it stays like this, it separates from the oil. So you have to uh, stir it before using. It gives very intense nutty flavor. I'm using a third of a cup tahini paste and third of a cup vegetable oil. And here are my the filo sheets, thin ones. Uh, for the US, it's number four. And I'm going to use about uh, 350 grams or uh, 12 to 14 pieces, depend on the uh, size of my pan, until I fill it. Make sure to use damp cloth. The for the uh, ones you're not gonna use to keep them moist and brush one sheet uh, lightly with the oil and sesame paste mixture next sprinkle one tablespoon granulated sugar if you like more you can add uh, half tablespoon more here is my uh, second sheet and I'm gonna make the same steps again, brushing all the parts. And this time I'm sprinkling one heaped tablespoon, one to two ground hazelnuts, along with granulated sugar. And I just, uh, like to cut the sides because they usually don't have a filling on them and I put them inside and then roll tightly as you can I uh, cut them into two centimeter long pieces but you can make it longer if you like. And place them next to each other in 9 by 13 inch pan.
In the second batch, I want to uh, show you another way to uh, roll it. Here is the second sheet. And it is always better to roll as tight as you can. So I uh, figured it out that uh, if I cut it first into half the sheet, it is easier to uh, roll it tightly. Here we go. As you can see, it's easier and tighter. And then I cut it again into same sizes. After my pan is filled with the rolls, with about uh, 12 sheets, I brush the tops again with the uh, tahini and oil mixture. You can sprinkle some sugar on top if you like, but I like to use powdered sugar. And uh, I baked it in 170 Celsius degree preheated oven for about 30 to 40 minutes until it is golden color on uh, top and bottom. Before sifting a powdered sugar, make sure it is completely cooled. And it's ready. You can probably get an idea how crunchy it is, even from the screen. It really is crunchy all the way and it stays fresh for a long time in airtight container. But I'm gonna taste one for you with the sound on. It's one of my favorite desserts to use hazelnuts. It's kind of a light a baklava without syrup, I can say. So give it a try and uh, share your comments with me. I also have a similar recipe uh, using a pistachio instead of hazelnuts and uh, with syrup in it. You might also like it. Check the links to watch. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.